for so many students that I'm talking to, I'm finding that they're not happy with how their studying is going, how their studying has been going. And the question is, okay, what now? Um, how do I approach the next couple of months to make sure that things go better? First of all, can we do this? Yes, we can. We absolutely can. All right. It can totally be done. And I'm absolutely here to help you figure out how to do that. So we're going to take some small steps to make sure that we start the year off right, that we're, we get back on the right track and we make the right moves. Many of my students struggle alone. Okay. So they know throughout, you know, throughout the weeks, months, semester, things are not going fantastically, but they keep quiet. They're not asking for help. They're not reaching out. They're struggling on their own. This is your first mistake, right? So this is the first thing I need you to fix is change the mindset of I'm going to struggle in silence. I'm going to fix it on my own. I don't want people to know that I'm struggling. I don't want them to think I'm stupid. I don't know what they're going to tell me. So I'm, I just don't want to ask or like, it's fine. I'll fix it later. Whatever the case is, um, if what you're doing isn't working, then reach out. Don't wait until two weeks before the exam or two weeks before the test because there's very little that someone can help you with in that short space of time. You want to make sure that you get help as early as possible so that you can spend a lot of time fixing things, right? So that's the first thing. The second thing, just 3%, right? When you're thinking of, I've got to study now, I've got to study today, um, it's so easy to fall into the trap of like, Yvonne, my last test was 30% and I need to get up to 50%. And I worked so hard and I only got 30%. So in your mind, that other 20% is huge. And you're like, I don't know what I'm going to do today to get that 20%. And yeah, that is impossible. It can't be done. And so we kind of go, well, you know, if, if it can't be done, then there's no point in, I, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. And we get overwhelmed. Uh, we freak out and it's just, it all feels just too much and too big. Completely understandably, totally understandably. So we got to go, no, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We have time to fix this. So the earlier we start, the small improvements we need to make, just 3%. Whatever you're doing today, your brain is on, I just need to improve what I'm doing by 3%. Because in three weeks, 3% adds up to 9%. And that's quite a lot right? In six weeks, it adds up to 18%. That's quite a lot. That's pretty cool. Okay. And we've got the time to do that. So instead of going, you know, I have to increase my marks by 20%. And if I think about how hard I worked and I only got to 30, I'm never going to be able to do more than that. No, no, no. Break down. Your brain operates in small increments. You think in big increments, right? I've got to pass, I've got to get this right. And it's a huge goal that you're looking at. And your brain in the moment on that day is going, we can't climb that wall. This is not happening. And so you sit there and you look at this wall and go, it's impossible. You don't have to climb that wall today. You only have to take three little steps in the right direction. So just 3%. And that can totally be done. Okay. You're going to struggle with subject related stuff. This topic is hard. Um, this topic, I don't get. This topic, I'm just not getting marks for. I thought I knew it, but I'm not getting marks for it. So you're going to sub struggle with subject-related issues. Okay. Um, I just really don't get financial instruments. And you're going to struggle with non-subject-related issues. Okay. Like any goal... Any goal has the technical stuff and it has the non-technical stuff. The non-subject related issues, stress, anxiety, time management, procrastination. Um, my family isn't really giving me the space to study. Uh, they don't really understand my choices. Uh, I'm struggling with finances. I'm struggling with emotions. I'm struggling with stress. I'm struggling with, I, I don't know what. There's loads and loads and loads of stuff, right? These come down to exactly the same thing. Because the question is, what's getting in the way of your marks, right? 
it might be subject related issues. Well, I, I'm struggling to get marks in accounting because I'm struggling with financial accounting, or I'm struggling to get marks in accounting because I'm so stressed out that I'm actually not studying. That's not an accounting issue. That's a non-subject issue. But if it's getting in the way of your marks, it is exactly as important, right? So we need to make sure that when you're thinking about what's getting in the way of my progress, what's getting in the way of my studies, what's getting in the way of my marks, some of it is going to be subject related and some of it is going to be non-subject related. I think I always thought when I was studying that the people who were smart, the people in the top 10, the people who passed, somehow I felt, I thought that they felt different to me. I thought that they weren't struggling. I thought that they weren't afraid of failure. So I kind of kept that to myself because I'm like, okay, these people must be different to me. You know, they're not struggling. Bravery is what you do even though you're afraid. And I love that. The people in the top 10, people who pass and make their goals are not people who are not afraid. They are just as afraid as the rest of us, but they're prepared to step forward and go, I'm going to do this anyway. I'm going to do this anyway, even though it feels horrible, even though it feels terrible, even though it's uncomfortable, I'm going to do it anyway. Okay. We kind of think that the people who pass are the people who were never uncomfortable. They just always knew what they were doing and they just always knew what was going on. Well, let me tell you, I passed CTA. And I passed on my first attempt, so I'm super grateful, like beyond grateful. I know what a small percentage of people that was. I think in the year that I passed CTA, I think there was like a, the first timers who passed, I think it was like a 7% pass rate for the first timer. So I know that of every 100 students, there were only seven who passed first time that year. I know what a blessing that was. So yeah, I mean, good grief. I was terrified. I was stupid. I knew nothing. I went to that exam going like, I don't belong here at all. I was terrified. Terrified. I knew nothing. My entire year was tears and trauma. And oh my goodness, I'm never like, I should go back to second year. I don't even know what's going on. And the closer I got to the exam, I was like, I don't even know the difference between a debit and a credit. Now I'm like, I'm getting stupider, not smarter. Okay. We kind of feel like success is, well, when I feel like I know the answer, when I stop feeling like I'm going to fail, when I stop feeling so uncomfortable, when the stops feeling so hard, that's when things are going right. I'm sorry to tell you, that's not the truth. The people who pass are the people who take the whole year and go, this sucks, this sucks, this still sucks, this still sucks, this still sucks, this still sucks. Oh, hey, I passed. <laughs> you know, we kind of think like, oh, hey, this sucks, this sucks, this sucks. Oh, it doesn't suck anymore. That's when I pass. No, no, no. I want you to understand that, right? So what do I want to, I want to start with? There are like four things I want you to know. One, do not struggle alone. If this is your goal, if this means so much to you, then fight for it. Just 3%. Yes, I know you need to improve your marks probably on average, by like 20 to 30%. That's a lot. And in your head, you're going too much, Yvonne. For today, for this week, your goal is I just need to improve by 3%. Subject and non-subject related issues. You will struggle with both of them. And you need to be brave. Stuff is crap. Stuff's horrible. This is nasty. It's a nasty goal. Can it be done? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely not a problem. I have absolutely every single faith in every single one of you that you could do this. Why? Because I know how stupid I was. Okay, I know what was in my head. I know how terrible I felt before, during, and after every single test and every single exam. And the fact that I passed is still somewhat of a miracle to me. So I know how bad things went. And I know that I was able to pass. So I know if I was struggling with stuff, I know that you're struggling with stuff. And I know that you're able to pass. 